Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do another little vlog. It's very hot in Toronto. It's plus 35 with the Humidex. Just gotta do a little blotting here. It's Friday, so we've decided to go on a little city adventure. Just ordered some coffees for the drive down. We're going to just have some fun in the city, you know? Get some food. I need to go to a camera store and pick up some film. Sit in a park, read a book. So in Toronto, where COVID regulations are concerned, right now we need to wear masks indoors. It's mandatory anytime you're in an like indoor public place. Restaurants are open if they have patios. A lot of stores are open now. Again, you just have to wear a mask if you're going indoors. I have a feeling I am gonna have to put my hair up at some point because as you can see I have quite a lot of it and it's getting very hot under this mane But very grateful for the weather because we've actually had um, quite a few days of rain Which is really good for the plants, but um, it's nice to get the sunshine back blue skies We're gonna go into the city and enjoy this lovely Friday in the sun and I'm gonna take you along with me Ooh la la, thank you mm. Oh, it's so good have you tried this? No, it looks so good though. In case you're wondering, my Starbucks drink of choice in the heat recently has been the guava passion fruit drink. It's a PF and I forgot what that stood for. I get a tall, light ice, and two pumps of the pineapple ginger syrup and it is divine. Kind of tastes like a pina colada. So good. And it doesn't hurt that it's super pretty. Mm -mm -mm. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Exactly. Just getting some drinking content. Whoa, very fancy. So if you've never been to Toronto before, we are currently on the DVP. No, sorry, scratch that, take two. <laughs> We're currently on the Gardner, which is a really old highway, but a really beautiful highway that goes into the city and you get some of the best views of downtown Toronto. Unfortunately, because of this motorcycle, you can't hear anything I'm saying. Unfortunately, because of all the development happening in downtown Toronto, the view has changed slightly, so it's not as nice as it used to be. You used to have like a way better shot of the CN Tower, and now there's like a big condo in the way. It's still pretty good still pretty good and we're just stuck in a little bit of friday traffic traffic has become a very strange thing to experience lately because i feel like we don't really experience it anymore i guess everyone wanted to have a little friday hang in the city today not just us i'm making really good progress on this drink lots of lovely toronto construction here there this used to all be open so you used to be able to see all the buildings on this side but i believe they're fixing up the highway so this is that pesky building i was telling you about i think it's actually a uh, office building not a condo but in any case it didn't used to be there and it used to be just the CN Tower which you can still see peeking out from behind it so now this view is a little bit less impressive especially also with all this beautiful fencing here still love you Toronto the view has opened up a little bit so this is what it looks like when there's no fencing but this is the view when you're driving into the city and like I said you used to be able to see the CN Tower and you can't anymore but that's okay Scotiabank Arena, home of the reigning NBA champs, the Raptors. Witnessed some pretty good Raptors games there. This is just turning into like a fun Toronto tour. We've also got a lot of this in Toronto, which is like condos right by the highway. Just generally like a lot of condos here, as with most big cities, I think. All right, we're about to get the money shot. She's about to peek out. There she is, almost there, almost there. Wow, CN Tower and the Rogers Center home of the Blue Jays, also known as the Sky Dome. what I got from the camera store, from the film store. It's not a particularly long haul, but. So I got two of these. I think this is the Kodak 400. Let's double check. Yeah, so this is the, oh no, it's the Fuji Color Superior. Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. I've actually never used this phone before. I was using the Kodak 400 before, so we'll see if this one's different. It was only $6.99 per roll, and I think there's 36 
photos. Yes, so that'll last me a little while. And then I got this, which is an expired disposable film camera. They had a big bin full of these. I'll include some footage, but pretty much they sell like a bunch of expired, like one time use cameras that you buy at your own discretion. And all it really means is like the flash might not work. There might be some light leaks, discoloration, all of that. But I think it could actually make for some pretty cool photos. So I picked one up. It was only $4.99. They recommend to use them outdoors with like really good light. So actually the park today might be a very good time to try. Hopefully this wasn't a total waste of five bucks, but it's just five bucks, we'll be all good. By the way, this is Trinity Bellwoods Park, which if you are not familiar with Toronto is probably the most popular like downtown core park. And right now they have social distancing circles everywhere. You can just set up camp. Everyone is very respectful of each other's space. There's usually all sorts of like fun activities happening here too. People will do like slack lining or hula hooping or just like the most random things. I think I'm just gonna hang, read my book, and then we'll go get some food in actually pretty soon because I'm pretty hungry so that's all for now. This is my view. So soothing. It's like not that many people here so but really the people is. behind us so, are quite loud so but you can see all the circles. Here's our circle and there's a bunch of other ones. Everyone is social distancing very responsibly and I wasn't lying about the slack line. There's one right there. Our dinner is here. Got this epic pepperoni pizza. You can appreciate this size comparison. Very excited. Mmm. This beautiful cheesy goodness. White pants with a pepperoni pizza. Very living on the edge. Nice and thin. It's so good. Classic pepperoni slice. Still in the park, got some ice cream. This is actually mint chip flavor, but it's the only mint chocolate chip I've ever had that isn't green, which I think probably means it's really good because it doesn't have a bunch of like green food coloring in it. There's always a lot of like people in trolleys selling different things from there, usually from their small business. So we decided to support today. It was very good. In case you were wondering, the pizza annihilated the pizza. Now having some ice cream. So, you know, just stick into that real balanced, healthy diet plan. It's Friday, exactly. It doesn't count if we eat it on a Friday. Calories don't count on Fridays. It's a little bit later now. The sun is setting behind me. I'm actually gonna do something pretty interesting, which is attend a sort of like virtual film premiere. I had a production company reach out to me. They sent me the link for a new film that they wanna promote. And because obviously there's no opportunity to physically go to a premiere right now, they're doing a sort of happy hour game night Q&A thing via Zoom. I'm honestly a little bit nervous because I don't know exactly how it's all gonna go, but I'm just gonna do this Zoom meeting from the park and hope that that's fine. <laughs> I feel like there's no precedent set for how you're meant to go about these things and like where you're supposed to do them from. So we're gonna do it from the park and hope that that's appropriate. Okay, I'm gonna set up my Zoom link because it's almost time and I don't want to be late. This is how we attend events nowadays. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna go. This is gonna be very interesting. It's working and we're not on camera so I'm really happy. <laughs> Toronto, baby. Some guys having a pretty chill Friday. CN Tower is your backdrop, not too bad. Hello again, it's a little bit later now. I've got my tea. Decaf green tea is my tea of choice in the evenings. And I'm gonna dig into these macarons. So the pink is champagne. This one down here is cappuccino. The purple one is cassis. And this guy is hazelnut praline. Very excited to eat them. So I actually just have my phone here and I'm trying to set up the link to this screener that I received, which is a new horror thriller coming out, I believe sometime next week. I'm very excited because I love a good scary movie and it is currently 10.39 p.m. So it's it's a good time to watch a scary movie. We were specifically instructed to watch it with the lights down low and volume up high and at nighttime. So I've currently got one of those three things happening and uh, we will take care of the rest once I get this link working. I have my tea, I'm gonna watch this movie. Probably gonna have to watch something happy after. Let me know if anyone else is like this. I feel like anytime I listen to a crime podcast or watch a scary movie or like a scary TV show or just hear something scary even, like I have to watch at least one episode of Gilmore 
girls or friends afterwards before going to bed. Is that just me? I hope not. Anyway, wish me luck with this screener. I think we'll be able to get it up and running and get some good scares in before bed, you know? I forgot to film an outro. What else is new? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of Toronto. Just trying to find ways to keep busy and have fun during this weird time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to do those things and be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Anyway, that is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Bye.